Hello everyone, uh, this is another episode of Transport Fever 2 uh, Tropical Fun. Now I've wound the uh, clock forward a couple of years here uh, to uh, accumulate some uh, cash to actually do something. Now I've, uh, cl I've cleared out the uh, entire loan in that time and I've got about 1.8 million uh, available so that gives us almost 12 million to uh, sort out some uh, issues here. Now the main issue is uh, uh, we need to uh, well we can supply more uh, more more uh, lumber here but that's not what's uh, limiting everything. Uh, our actual uh, limiting factor here is uh, uh, the uh, steel uh, coming over here to the uh, machines factory. Now we do have steel being produced but uh, we could produce more. Now uh, the steel uh, steel mill is short on coal. Now uh, that means we need to send more coal up from here. Uh, okay, so we've got lots here. Uh, so I'm going to, you know, uh, take a look at these uh, vehicles here. Now that's the 280 Baldwin uh, 56. Um, whoops, yeah. Uh, let's uh, let's take a look at that. Uh, the Baldwin. Uh, yeah, so that's the one we've been using, uh, the Baldwin uh, Baldwin 56 is 284 and 70. Um, now the Mogul is uh, a little bit stronger at, uh, we just got that at the start of 1885, uh, that's stronger at 480. Uh, but it goes way faster than we need it to. Since our coaches or our, our stuff can only go um, uh, 50, but uh, it is stronger, uh, and that uh, that might be uh, worth uh, worth going for, uh, but I don't I don't think it's necessary on this line. So uh, which coach which um, uh, wagons am I using here? Uh, gondola. Uh, okay, so we've got 105 capacity with 15. So uh, that means we have to be using. Yeah, we have to be using the the larger ones. So what what I'm going to do then? Uh, I I need to uh, uh, go out of here. Uh, I figure what I can do, and this is a long route, so if I duplicate a couple of uh, train, you know, two more trains on this line, uh, I'm going to need to need a bunch of cash to do this. So I'm, I'm thinking if I put two more trains on this line, uh, we'll end up collecting a lot more coal. Uh, so uh, let's, uh, let's take a look here. Uh, we'll see if that uh, works. Uh, to uh, increase the steel throughput. Now let's uh, take a look here. Uh, we're not really uh, limited here on our uh, throughput here. Uh, so let's take a look at Thornton. Uh, well, let's take a look at the coverage of this one. Uh, residential. Yeah, we're not quite covering all the commercial buildings here. Uh, now, I think we might be able to uh, improve that coverage by adjusting everything here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the game here because I'm going to mess with this. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, bring this road over, or under maybe, yeah, over, over the uh, tracks. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, I guess, uh, so we're going to have to go up four, I think, to get over. Uh, well, maybe we only need to go three here. Yeah, we can get away with three, so 
I'll uh, yeah, I'll take that. Uh, and then I should be able to. Well, that's a pretty egregious slope, but if we bring that down and this up, uh, does this that doesn't change the um, catchment area enough? Uh, but what if I bring a road up like so? No, that doesn't change anything either. But what I can do, I should be able to move this, say over here. Yeah, if I move the station. Uh, okay, so if I take that out, yes. And then I, buildings, uh, we only need one. Now, if I put it, if I put it uh, here, that gets almost everything. But if I put it here, that gets all of it. Okay. So if I put that there, uh, that gets everything. Uh, what I, I kind of want to do, though, is uh, maybe upgrade uh, this, uh, oh, upgrade this uh, street, yeah. Okay, so that will uh, improve the uh, demand curve for things. Uh, this just doesn't seem sensible anymore. Uh, okay, now. That, I think, is okay. Uh, so we'll uh, relaunch the clock. Uh, now we'll uh, up-tempo it. Uh, now we've maxed out the loan again, but uh, that should uh, that should get get everything uh, rolling. Now this uh, this slope here is uh, a little bit dicey, but it should be fine. Uh, right, okay, so we should, once these uh, uh, wagons space out again, we'll have uh, good throughput. Now, uh, we have, uh, do, do we have, wh where are the, um, okay, one's there. Uh, where are the, well, they've launched. Um, okay, where are these guys? Oh, they went to the steel mill first. Okay. Uh, let's ride this guy, and uh, just see uh, see our uh, handiwork here. So there's a uh, one of our bridges. Uh, we're coming up past the uh, machines factory, uh, and that was a coal train. Uh, okay, here's our uh, tunnel. Right, so uh, this should uh, get the uh, coal rate up, and uh, that should get the, uh, the, the steel mill uh, producing more and uh, feeding more to the machines factory, which will then produce more and feed it to Thornton. Now, something else I'm going to do in this uh, this episode once we've, we've finished, uh, you know, riding this for a bit, you know, because why not? Uh, is uh, now that we have the mobile, which can do 75k, uh, and we have, uh, I believe we have a passenger carrier that will do 80, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, replace the uh, passenger trains uh, with uh, 
uh, faster trains. Uh, and that will help our uh, income and also the town growth. Uh, and by doing that, uh, it should make a difference even on cargo demand. So uh, we should be, uh, it, it should be uh, pretty uh, solid. Now, uh, I don't think we've got enough trains on this line to max out throughput here. Um, yeah, so we pick up a full load here. Um, uh, okay, and uh, well, we're well. Let's uh, take a look at the line. Yeah, we're not maximizing throughput uh, by any stretch, but we should have tripled the amount of coal coming in up here. Yeah, see, uh, that is definitely the problem. Uh, so, uh, but we've got uh, coal trains bunched up. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I just want to see when a uh, coal train arrives. Uh, like we're getting 800k from uh, the iron deliveries, uh, but we need the uh, coal uh, trains to uh, to arrive as well. Uh, that's a, a steel pickup, which there's nothing to pick up uh, because we don't have enough coal. Uh, so that's um, that's actually severely limiting our income potential, uh, which is why I, I might need to launch another coal train. Uh, hard to say. Anyway, here we go. Here's a coal delivery. Uh, 1.8 mil. And... Here, now we're uh, dropping rapidly here uh, on supplies, but now we're uh, generating uh, steel for pickup. And you know what? I think I need another coal train on here. Uh, I think I really do. Now, we don't have enough cash to buy one yet, but I think we really do. Um... Yeah, so this uh, steel uh, pickup will actually get some this time. Yeah. Oh yeah, we definitely need more coal coming in. Well, I, I'm just let's just watch it. See if the this stock doesn't run out. Oh well, the next one's coming. If that stock doesn't run out before the next one arrives, then maybe we don't for the moment. Um, yeah, maybe we don't for the moment. We're certainly, uh, you know, generating a lot more steel. Uh, that's. Um, that's definitely good. Right. Uh, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one more uh, train on here. And then I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, and I'm going to look at the uh, passenger lines. Uh, okay, so this one, so we're using, uh, yeah, so we're using old trains. Uh, okay, so let's... Um, Let's look at replacing this train. Let's see, what will it cost to chuck a mogul on there at 75? So the mogul does 400 kilowatts, so it's not bad. And then we have, uh, well, the, the Balt does 60. Uh, compartment car. Clear Story does 80. Now it weighs 25 tons. Um, but yeah, so if we add a uh, clear story, now what do we have on here? We have six Bavarian. So that's 48. So we can get 48 with three of these. Uh, and that gives us mediocre. Yeah, okay. So we need uh, 3.5 mil to uh, replace this. Now we should have enough income coming in that we can actually do this. Uh, yeah, uh, we should uh, be able to replace uh, a couple of these and that should get us a, uh, 
a substantial boost in uh, um, in income from these. Um, I'm not sure if the increased running costs uh, will uh, will offset it, but it will make the travel more desirable. And uh, you know the trains will run you know, probably 30, 40 percent faster. Uh, well, 30 percent faster anyway. Is they, they were previously running at, um, uh, well, what's the, uh, running at 50k. Uh, so, uh, yeah, they'll probably run about 30%. Well, no, for the longer hauls, they, they should be able to get up to 75. So, yeah, they'll run quite a bit faster. That will uh, definitely uh, uh, help a little bit. Um, Right, uh, so we're just about uh, to the point where we can uh, uh, do a replacement here. Uh, we definitely, yeah, okay, we'll replace that one, and now it's uh, the speed is climbing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, I'll keep that open and see if I can notice the. Uh, that's the that's that one. So this one. Uh, that's the one we just replaced. Is it? No. That's, uh, yeah, that's got a different thing on it. Uh, that one's a 42 capacity. I didn't even notice how much that brought in. Uh, but anyway, uh, we want to replace this one as well with a uh, mogul and uh, passenger with clear story. Uh, that gives us, yeah, so we had 42 capacity before, so this will give us 48. Then, uh, you know, when we get up to 3.7 mil again, we'll be able to uh, replace this one. Uh, and then, uh, then we'll have uh, faster passenger services, which may attract more uh, passengers to the... Um, yeah, so that's that's losing money. Uh, but what we need to do is get more passengers going, right? Uh, actually, I might be able to cut the uh, cut one passenger car off of these. Uh, let's uh, bring this one up. Yeah, you know, I think I can. Uh, so if I run them with two cars, replace. And if I manage this one, yeah, uh, and I uh, edit it, I can take one of those off, yeah. Uh, so, you know, with 32 capacity, uh, that should be enough. And we've got electric trams now as well. Uh, so, yeah, it'll be worth looking at uh, getting that to... Uh... And we only have two passenger rail routes. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, right, okay, so let's look at this commuter line. Uh, are we, we're not even covering uh, half the town anymore, so uh, what I can do here well, let's um, uh, look here. So we're covering, well, what's this covering? Uh, oh, come on. Well, that's covering most of the town anyway. Uh, no, that's fine. Uh, but what I want to do is uh, uh, replace this. Well, let's down tempo the uh, time again. Uh, what I want to do is... Uh, I want to put uh, uh, catenaries on uh, on here because I want to switch this up to run the uh, the tram, the electric tram, uh, which means I'm also going to need a tram depot thing, a Dewey, uh, right, and. Uh, I'm going to need to 
buy. Uh, well, they these carry 11, and they run at 27. Uh, and I've got, what, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, just uh, a handful on there. So I think I can get away with two of, maybe three of them. So I'll buy those, and I'll put that on the Thornton commuter. And then I'll uh, look at the line uh, and manage vehicles and take these off it. Right. Sell it. Yes. Okay. Now we've got uh, electric trams uh, running there. Uh, and then we have a similar situation in Sacramento. Uh, uh, hmm. This is uh, an interesting conundrum on how do I do this. Uh, I think proper coverage would require a line running this way, but Either way, uh, I need I want to do the same thing here. Uh, I'm going to need uh, one of these uh, Deweys, which I'll bash in over here, uh, and I'm going to need to upgrade the street. Yeah, like that. And I'm going to need, by the look of it, one. Uh, okay. And we'll put this on the Sacramento commuter. Right. Um, and again, apologies for any background noise that uh, kicks in. Uh, the, uh, you know, the thing that keeps my house from freezing is... Uh, you know, not that far away from where I happen to have my setup here. Um, and, you know, yeah, that sounds like a bad idea, but it's also a situation where, uh, you know, I have limited space and, uh, you know, I have to put things where I can. Uh, and, of course, uh, that means uh, if I have to have... Uh, fan noise and so on from uh, uh, stuff keeping my house warm or whatever, then I have to have fan noise. Uh, it's obviously not ideal, but it is what it is. Okay, so that's that. And, uh, oh, well, since I don't need the regular road vehicle any or road depot anymore, I can move it. It will save me a couple of uh, couple of dollars maintenance uh, and then oh yeah get out of that now I need to do the same thing over here in Garland as well and that's uh, covering the whole town as well so uh, I'm gonna need to uh, wang oh come on I keep doing that hitting the uh, the um, Uh, bulldozer button instead of uh, no I need to do this first uh, instead of the uh, rotate button okay we do that uh, and I think I need probably one uh, so I'll do that put it on the yeah that one uh, and then if I go in here, grab this, manage vehicles, I can eliminate those. Yep. Then I can eliminate that. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, right. So now that has uh, electric trams instead of horses with a little more capacity. And then over here... I have the same situation. 
uh, again. So, uh, right. Uh, what I will do is the same thing again. Yeah, it probably gets old, but right. So if I uh, wang that in there, uh, I upgrade everything. Yeah, like this. Yep, good. Uh, then I buy one of those. And I put it on here. Then I grab this. Manage vehicles. Sell those. And I can get rid of this. Good. Now, uh, that's that. Now, it's any other... Nothing else is connected to the passenger network, I don't think. Is that other thing over... Right, that is... Right, that thing over there is cargo. This thing is cargo. I think I might need more ships on this. Yeah, I think I need more ships here. Uh, what's this carry? Only 70. Yeah. Manage vehicle. Can I... I can afford another... Let's put two more ships on that and uh, see what happens. Uh, right. Uh, is we need... The ship goes here then it goes here then it comes over here and then these guys deliver is there a uh, better uh, cargo so this uh, does 18 and carries 4 that does 20 and carries 5 and it would carry not tools. Um, that one carries everything. It does 20 and carries 5. That does 20 and carries 5. But it has more horsepower. Um, right. Let's uh, do that. Um, yeah, uh, I don't think that's necessary, but it will mean that it definitely can keep up uh, when we uh, end up with, you know, ideally I should put a rail line here, but yeah, I'll leave that. Anyway, uh, right, so uh, okay, yeah, the ship is there. And it's picked up uh, not quite a full load, I think. Maybe it will by the time it leaves. This guy is, what, waiting for a free path? Okay, yeah, that, yeah, that must have been it. Okay. Uh, so, we have uh, more ships on there. That'll increase the overall uh, profit there. Uh, how's Tempe doing? Uh, yeah, it's doing okay with conmats. Okay. Uh, right. Back over here. Uh, I think the uh, next thing to do over here will be to uh, uh, link up maybe... Um, maybe link up uh, Garland with uh, Killeen. Uh, yeah, that might, or maybe peel off a uh, rail and go up here to Grand Rapids. 
because uh, I can then double up with the tunnel here, uh, double track track everything through here, or quad track everything through there, and then maybe peel off here and go straight up to Grand Rapids, maybe. But Garland to uh, Killeen seems like it might be the thing to do. And then we can do the same thing over here that we did over the other spot. Uh, we can uh, try replacing most of this truck stuff with rail. And in this case, we could... Oh, yeah, yeah. I could uh, change it to... Uh, put a uh, train station here with two platforms, one here with one, one here with one, and then what we do is we uh, come through here, we pick up logs, we go over here, we change them to planks, then we go back through, and we, uh, now we, you know, we only need one platform at each. Then we go back through here, uh, turn it to tools and come back drop it off pick up logs and go back and forth and then uh, we take a truck from here from from the train station here and we bring it into town yeah that would be the thing to do uh, and you know what I'm just gonna do that uh, we have you know, you know make the episodes a bit longer and uh, now if I come in on this side I'm not going to run into anything. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'll do. Uh, so I'm going to need one of these. And it's going to go here. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, I think I want to keep it on that side, but I need it somewhere where I can get a truck station in here. Um, so, if I move it that way, yeah, that'll work. And then, I can put this at a bit of an angle. Here and then I can put this one over here, like so. Then I can run a track, um, yeah, up to here. No, yeah, no. You know what? I'll just bring a track out here. Uh, I don't need this road. So I put the road back. Maybe. Um, well, it doesn't connect anything critical. Uh, okay. Uh, so take this rail out again and relay it. Uh, okay. So this can come out here. Now. Okay, this needs to connect here. Uh, okay, so... Um, hmm. Hmm. So it needs to come from this platform to this platform. You know, I think I'm going to need to... I'm going to run the trains opposite. Opposite direction here. So it needs to come this way to here, then come this way. Okay. And this can connect up. This can connect up. Yes. Okay, so then we'll come down this way. Or this way. Okay, yeah. So, uh, that means this is going to go this way. This is going to go uh, this way. Yep. Um, 
Yeah. Okay. And this is still going to be going that way. And this is going to be going that way. That way. That way. Yeah. Now, this is going to confuse me later. Uh, don't get me wrong. But... Uh, it does seem to be the uh, smartest uh, solution. So, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, like that. And like that. And like that and like that okay like that okay now I need to fling a depot at this uh, yeah like that right Now, I need a truck station with one uh, platform. We'll make it 30 meters long. And if we do this, oh good, we, we got a tendril. Okay, now because we're dropping off from a station to a station, we're going to get a uh, large-ish um, amounts here. So we'll uh, lengthen that platform. And now we obviously need a street connection. Now where's the drop-off point? That's it there, lower Killeen. Uh, okay, so we'll curve a road. We'll curve a road round into here. Yeah, that'll do. Now, what I need to do is buy loco uh, right we were going with the what was I, I using was it the Baldwin yeah it was the Baldwin and cargo and again this is a state car yeah Into. and um yeah and we're definitely going to need at least two of them here right okay and a new line which will go here here and then here uh, and that is uh, killing sawmill killing forest killing tools factory okay so this is cargo rail. Is that how I'm abbreviating it? Um, apparently not. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be forest sawmill tool factory. Right, and that's going to that's going to do its thing. Now we'll go over here, and we'll change this to uh, cargo delivery killing uh, tools.
Right. Okay, and we'll manage the line. And right. So we'll uh, go here, we'll add this, and then we'll take this, this, and this out. Yep, that's exactly what we want. And then we'll, of course, uh, we'll manage the vehicles, and we can drop this down to, again, probably about 10. Four, five, six, eight, nine. Okay. Okay, so we got 20 more to get rid of here. Good. Uh, so we're down to a sane number of vehicles. They just need to get there now. Uh, so we'll just let that uh, filter out. Uh, so we're... Uh... Okay, so with that not picking up, all of the logs should come over here, uh, which will come over here and then over here. Yeah, everything should... Uh, should tick along there. Oh, that's really going to mess with me having that set up backwards. Uh, but this um, this line here shouldn't need to uh, interface with uh, with anything else, uh, except maybe uh, coming from a uh, forest. Uh, a second forest uh, and that's just going to uh, link up into this station uh, on a separate platform so yeah it won't actually conflict this won't actually need to link with anything else now uh, here yeah we were doing pretty good for for the uh, coverage but let's see um, land use no. Um, no. Cargo. Right. Now, I can't even see what the coverage area is, but there up to there. Eh, it's covering it all. Okay. Uh, so it just wasn't supplying enough. Well, it should do this do enough supplying now. Um, right. Yeah, for now, I think there's enough train on there. Uh, right. So that should uh, that should tick along. Um, okay. Yeah, so I think maybe next time around, if I remember, I'll look at uh, linking uh, Garland up to Killeen. Um, right, now let's uh, go over and check in on our steel mill. Um, yeah, we're um, potentially still needing even more coal trains. Uh, so that should that could be uh, could be interesting. Yeah, that could be very interesting. Um, what I want to do though is uh, start keeping the loan paid off. Uh, that just means that I have less temptation to spend even more money, right? Uh, that's the big reason to do that. Um, yeah, so, yeah, we don't have enough coal coming in uh, to keep up, but we have caught up compared to the, uh, the iron ore. Uh, so we're going to need to add uh, an iron train. Um, 
So actually, if I borrow the cash back, uh, I can go on here. I can uh, go in here, manage vehicles. Well, I don't have enough money to duplicate that. Oops. Um, what is it? 3.7 we need. Uh, well, if I up the tempo, there we go. We duplicated that one. Uh, and I need to duplicate the uh, coal train uh, one more. Um, that, of course, needs uh, another... 3.7 mil. Um, I think another coal train should be enough to start keeping up. Um, I suspect what's happened is demands have increased. So here, yeah, we're not we're not quite delivering enough. So there, there there's more headroom yet. Uh, so definitely uh, adding another. Uh, another coal train is not a bad idea. Um, anyway, uh, but yeah, we're into uh, potential upgrade territory here. Um, yeah, uh, that uh, yeah, another another coal train would definitely be a good call there. Uh, so yeah, we need to uh, to get uh, uh, capacities up. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll run the uh, the clock at uh, half half uh, time rate up to about 1950. Then I'll slow it down. Because uh, at that point we'll have good. Uh, we'll be getting close to really good capacity uh, transport with uh, much stronger and faster uh, engines. Uh, right, yeah, so, uh, yeah, the trains aren't uh, evenly spaced out, so that's, uh, that's probably complicating things some. Um, oh. I'm missing a, what? No. Yeah, signal should be here. Yeah. Okay, that's not helping anything. Uh, but anyway, that's fine. Um, just need uh, enough cash to come in that I can duplicate a train here. Oh, I think we'll have enough cash after these two come in. There we go. Uh, so that's... Uh, one more train on there for coal. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to leave things here now. Um, yeah, yeah. I think that's enough for this time. Uh, so we've had uh, we've had some excitement here, uh, a bunch of upgrades and so on. Uh, next time I. I think I want to try and yeah I, I'm going to plumb in a uh, a couple one or two passenger lines here get more of this stuff connected up uh, that will just make things uh, more um, wait a minute no 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 don't get distracted uh, okay so that's uh, that's all that's all I'm going to do this time around. Uh, so, yeah, so the next episode should come next week, as usual, uh, probably Monday. And, uh, yeah, just so you know, I'm recording this episode a fair bit ahead of time. So, uh, if there's been any exciting news somewhere, uh, well, that's uh, definitely going to be something I don't know about yet. Uh, anyway, uh, so... Uh, I guess uh, stay healthy and uh, come back next time for uh, more uh, fiddling around and hijinks with Transport Fever 2. 
Uh, that's all for now, folks.